B. So <laughs> it's nice that it's a few more of us that can uh, do Sylvia and myself. Uh, we are going to sing Christmas carols. So uh, all the verses. So whether or not you feel like you can sing, sing. It'll be fun. Um, and that's about all. I'm just glad you're here. And uh, Merry Christmas. Please stand and we will sing together. Angels, we have heard on high.
A reading from Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult and dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For all the boots of the tramping warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace. For the throne of David and his kingdom, he will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness. From this time onward and forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. The psalm is printed in your bulletin. We will read it in unison. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the whole earth. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Declare his glory among the nations and his wonders among all people. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. He is more to be feared than all the gods. As for all the gods of the nations, they are but idols. But it is the Lord who made the heavens, and the majesty and magnificence of his presence. Oh, the power and the splendor of his sanctuary. Ascribe to the Lord, you families of the peoples. Ascribe to the Lord honor and power. Ascribe to the Lord the honor due his name. Bring offerings and come into his courts. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth tremble before him. Tell it out among the nations. The Lord is king. He has made the world so firm that it cannot be moved. He will judge the peoples with equity. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea thunder and all that is in it. Let the field be joyful and all that is therein. 
Then shall all the trees of the wood shout for joy before the Lord when he comes, when he comes to judge the earth. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. A reading from Titus. For the grace of God has appeared, bringing salvation to all, training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions, and in the present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright, and godly, while we wait for the blessed hope and the manifestation of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ. He it is who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify for himself a people in his own, who are zealous for good deeds. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So they went with haste, 
and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. The Gospel of our Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Christ. were also 
freely that she had expected. And but that by the time the baby was born, she was exhausted and messy and nestled in for the night with the animals. Mary would have told us that she knew this child. Mary would have told us that she knew someday her heart would break. So Mary took what she had, some bands of cloth, and Mary swaddled her baby, her baby Jesus. She wrapped him up, comforted him, nursed him. She held him to herself. She whispered in his ear. She sang to him. And she knew, as every mother knows, that her heart was now exposed to the world to be broken. This was an ordinary birth, a salt of the earth birth, a birth attended by livestock and by people they hardly knew. This was an ordinary birth. And these were ordinary parents. They didn't have much, but they had enough. Also in attendance were the shepherds. And along with Mary and Joseph, they have a front row seat to welcome the good news of great joy for all the people. And you know, don't you, that shepherds were, well, undesirable. They lived rough all the time, guarding sheep from wolves and thieves, guiding them to suitable pasture. A younger son, for whom there was no hope of inheriting the family farm, might become a shepherd, as would a man who for some reason was not suitable for marriage. It was among these that Jesus' birth was first celebrated. But the attendants of angels alerts us to the reality that this was also an extraordinary birth, a totally unreasonable, inconceivable, glorious, impossible birth. The angels alerted the shepherds to this birth, and they alert us to this birth, and, and they alert all of creation to this birth. Because not only is there a baby born in Bethlehem of ordinary people in an ordinary way? But there is a baby born in Bethlehem that changes the world. As Mary held her newly born son, she also holds all possibility, all love, and all creation waits as God's dream blossoms. God's dream for creation is born in Jesus. On that day, on this day, and on each day, we choose to follow. Jesus is born in us. God's dream for us is much like Mary's dream for her child. God's dream for us is much like your dream for your child and those whom you love. And love for a child is a lot like having your heart exposed to the wills of the world. Our hearts break in pain, and our hearts soar in joy, as does God's, I believe. God's dream for us is to love one another. God's dream for us is to serve one another. God's dream for us is to forgive one another. And we live in a world that is at times very messy and hateful and imperfect. And we bring our whole selves to this space, often messy, sometimes hateful, always imperfect. And this baby born in Bethlehem near a very messy manger to a very young mother who may not have known much about motherhood, but who wrapped her baby tight and loved him. This baby who is God with us, accepts us with all of our imperfections and loves us perfectly. We are not unlike Mary and Joseph. Certainly 
searching for a place to be home and to give birth. Mary and Joseph and the shepherds, all of these for whom there was no room, find room in Jesus. We find love, a love that is compassionate and merciful and just. And may we here at Trinity Church always be a home for those who, like the shepherds, have no other home. May we always welcome each one of God's children home. As we come to this glorious and possible each year, we must remember it is not about nostalgia nor romance. It is about welcoming into our lives people who are like the shepherds and the keepers of the livestock. It is about welcoming the disenfranchised, the outlier, the wanderer. It is about making space for those with whom Jesus consorted. Sinners, outcasts, women, and children. It is about looking toward a future that looks nothing like the present or the past. A future that creates new patterns of compassion and justice and mercy. And it is about the song that Mary sings. My soul gives glory to the Lord, rejoicing in my saving God who looks upon me in my state, and all the world will call me blessed. For God works marvels in my sight, and holy, holy is God's name. God's mercy is from age to age to those who follow with fear, whose arm is power and strength, and scatters all the proud of heart, who casts the mighty from their thrones and raises up the lowly God fills the starving with good things. The rich are left away empty, protecting all the faithful ones, remembering Israel with mercy, the promise known to those before and to their children forever. This child, who arrives in the ordinary way, becomes a home for humanity. The child who arrives in the ordinary way welcomes us home and heals us, puts us back together when we are broken. This child is the one in whom God's dream is made real, whose birth is impossible and unreasonable. Because, remember, it is not for reason that God comes to be with us and all of creation. It is for love. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. with the 
the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. join the angels and shepherds to celebrate with joy the birth of Jesus Christ. Let us offer prayers to God who shines the light of Christ on all creation, saying, Holy, Holy God, be Lord to us today. For the church in all places, remembering especially Michael, our presiding bishop, and Jeffrey, our bishop, that our worship and praise may give glory to God, and our witness and ministry bring new hope to many. Holy, Holy God, God, be Lord in us, us today. For this parish family, that we, like the angels, may announce the good news of God's saving love and be instruments of peace to all who walk the human journey with us. Holy, Holy God, God be born in us today. For all who live in Bethlehem and the hill country of Judah, and for Christians, Jews, and Muslims everywhere, that God's Spirit will open new pathways of peace and hope to all who live in danger and fear. Holy God, be born in us today. For our nation, that God will preserve public peace and guide all leaders to new cooperation in addressing the needs of those who are unemployed, hungry, or homeless. Holy God, be born in us today. For all those who are caring for others this Christmas season, that God will strengthen and protect health care workers public safety and utility workers, and those who care for the poor and the vulnerable. Holy God, be born in us today. For all who find Christmas difficult, for those whose lives are touched by fear, anxiety, or depression, especially those who have asked for our prayers, that Christ will bring healing, light, and hope to their hearts. Please add aloud or silently those for whom you wish to pray. <coughs> Lifting our voices with all creation, 
with Mary, the God-bearer, and with all the heavenly hosts, let us offer ourselves and one another to the living God through Christ. Glory, Glory to you, you O Lord, Lord, our God. Source of light and gladness, accept the prayers we offer on this joyful feast. May the rising sun of Christ spread across the world and brighten all humanity. Glory to God in the highest, and peace among those whom God favors. Amen. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. So we always um, forget, and the people who have birthdays around Christmas get uh, the short shrift, I know. Is there any birthdays to celebrate today? I, I do not want to forget. Okay. <laughs> Please stand as you are able. May the peace of our Lord be always with you. Please offer to one another a sign of our Lord's
heirs in him of everlasting life, that when he shall come again in power and great triumph to judge the world, we may without shame or fear rejoice to behold his appearing. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and our angels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation. In the calling of Israel to be your people, in your word spoken through the prophets, and above all, in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these days, in these last days, you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you have delivered us from evil, and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness out of death into life. And the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O oh Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory, and we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O oh Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country where with all your saints we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters. Through Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation, the head of the church and the author of our salvation. By him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. God's table. 
and all who seek Jesus are welcome. Bring black. 
blessing is sent to glory in the promise of creation restored. And may the blessing of God, who is creator, redeemer, and sustainer, be with you today 